you're never going to get too far as a water person if um, <laughs> if a bit of rain puts you off. You're not made of sugar, are you? So it's not actually too bad. It's now stopped raining. Uh, you can see, it's obviously like there's been a bit of baby rain, but nothing substantial. Uh, so I've come to Eastwood, which is in between Tomerton and Hebden Bridge. And um, behind me, behind those trees, in fact, over there, is a building called Nanholm Mill. Uh, Nanholm Mill, that's it. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much where we're going to go in. And if you're looking for the road, there you go, Shorewood Avenue. And that's uh, Nanholm Mill, Nanholm Mill, rather. And this is where we're going to go in just here. So here you are, pretty much straight away, we've got a, a couple of things of note. One is that there's a, uh, a club there, uh, or a gym rather, it's a pole dancing gym. Who knew? And the other thing is that this um, jetty that you can see here, made a very long time ago, out of recycled plastic. And so one of the things about this sort of area of the canal is the bank. It's like um, Jurassic Park, it's so green. And this is really like, I suppose, what you call making the most of living next to the canal. They've even got a little windbreak up there. Very nice. And there's one for sale if you fancy it. Sometimes one of the things about locks is um, it's not so much getting in, it's getting out again. So I'm just going to have a quick look around here to see about getting out when I'm on my way back. So we found a little spot just a little bit further up, it's only about another 20 metres, so that's not bad at all. Of course, this is actually a canal, but if you look at it really, uh, it could easily be a river. It's nice and wide, except it's smooth and tranquil. All this lush vegetation here, it's not like there's no shopping trolleys or anything like that here. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I love to be out in the sun on my board, but I also quite like the canopy of trees that you get in a place like this. So just over, over there is the counterpart to the, um, the pole dancing gym I told you about earlier. That's Britain's very first women-run boxing club, Northern Powerhouse Boxing Academy. Look it up. I've got to say, that is a very beautiful little canal side garden there. Look at that, the terraces. So we've got another lock to do here. This is the second lock. I think this is probably going to be the only one we'll do. We'll go. We'll, we'll go as far as the next lock after that and then come back. But um, you may notice a little bit of white on the water surface down, uh, down by the lock gates there. And that's feathers. I think there's been a massive punch up here between uh, rival gangs of Canada geese. There's, I think there's three or four colonies of Canada geese live in this valley and it's relatively narrow. And um, so I suspect they may have come to blows.
So I've just remembered actually, the last time I was down here, it was bitterly cold. I think there was even snow on the ground. And um, I was paddling in my ski clothes. It's, uh, it's not quite like that now. It's still probably, it's, it's quite late at night. It's about eight o'clock at night now. And it's probably still around about 20 degrees. Certainly I feel that I'm too warm <laughs> with a hoodie on, but never mind. So, and it's a very nice simple put in from uh, by the lock there, just down here. And that's Callis Community Garden and Moorings that's uh, famous actually for being one of the very first of its kind in this country. Well, we've got down here to uh, Rawdon Mill Lock number 12, and uh, which is at the end of Callis. See a couple of the Callis boats there. Um, but we can't really go any further. Well, we can, but it would involve quite a bit of portage, which is carrying your board. And I'll show you why in just a moment. So, beyond that lock, Rawdon Lock, be fine, but for the fact that we're looking at about a metre to get up and out. This was all rebuilt after the floods of uh, Boxing Day in 2015. Well, they rebuilt it well into 2016. And um, uh, they, well, I don't know, they built it for a specific purpose and that was for narrow boats only. And the irony of all that is that actually at the moment, no uh, tourist narrow boats are allowed down here because there hasn't been that much, um, that much rain. Uh, the, the canal levels haven't been just sort of topped up all the time and when people come from other parts of the country or even locals really like because it does happen occasionally to rent narrow boats from the basin in Sawley Bridge they are told about closing the lock gates properly but it doesn't mean they do it and unfortunately what happens is that vast sections of, of the canals constantly are getting emptied out just because some numpty from Lemon like Godalming or something hasn't uh, hasn't bothered to shut the uh, the lock gates properly. back at uh, Nanholm Mill again. Nanholm Mill, I can never say that, at Eastwood anyway. And after a um, nice little run down, there's only two locks there, uh, and there and back took us uh, 3.42 miles. It's not very much really, nice and flat. And this is a sort of waterway that you can do all year round. It doesn't really flow much, but it is wide enough and deep enough to not get stinky. Uh, it's just very pleasant really and uh, couldn't think of anything better to do on a late August evening like this. I just want to say thank you very much to my daughter Georgia for the awesome titles at the beginning of this video and if you want to see more of uh, my little roots of on stand-up paddleboard around the, the waterways of uh, certainly of the north, I don't know if I'll do some, I'm presumingly I'll do some elsewhere, uh, just hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video as well, please. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. See you next time.